All right, folks, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in again. So I thought I'd show you this cool little knife here that I've, I've had probably for about six months, I guess. I got it back in March uh, this year at Demo Days uh, from, again, a company called Outdoor Element. And they're a company in Colorado. Yeah, Colorado. <laughs> Small company. And they make several products. And um, this is one of them. Um, I have several of their other products, like, uh, for instance, uh, this little fire beaner right here. It's basically a carabiner that... Um, has a little sparking wheel on it that you can spark tender with. I use this a lot. Um, also has a little uh, cutting portion on there as well. So a couple of cool little products and another one of their little products, a newer product is called their handled. This is a little pot handle uh, for your pots and stuff. Get them off the fire. But also what makes this thing cool is you can take this apart and right here you turn this over and it has a little little blade right there and what you do with that little blade is when you get done with your isobutane uh, canisters uh, from you, your cooking canisters and stuff you can puncture that um, and make sure it's completely empty and then you can throw it away so pretty cool little product again a couple of cool little products but i've had these products for a while but anyway so back to the knife here this is their called their contour feather knife and this is just a neat little a neat little knife uh, in itself and Again, I've really grown fond of this little knife. Any of you that watch me for a long time know that I'm not a huge fan of smaller knives, neck knives, stuff like that. I, I'm just, I'm just not. They all have their place, absolutely. But for me, in general, I just haven't been, you know, too fond of them over the years. But this little knife here, I'm, I have actually grown to love this little thing. This is such a cool little knife, and it's v, made out of VG10 steel. And basically, you have a two-inch blade and about a three and a half inch long handle and an overall length of about five and three quarters inches or so, give or take. So a nice little, small little knife and you can, it's interestingly designed because you can see the handle here. Now you have a, a straight piece of the handle, then you have a little piece right here, little finger groove area. So you just kind of get a good little purchase on it. You can either do like two fingers like this or in your other two fingers, you can kind of wrap around and then I take my pinky finger and just kind of throw it behind. And that gives me a good little purchase on the blade and on the knife. You have a little bit of jimping up top here. It's not very aggressive, uh, which is nice. As um, as you know, I have kind of a love-hate relationship with jimping. So it's, um, you know, it's not that bad. It is a full tang knife. Um, so as you can see here, full tang uh, design, you know, which is really nice. I don't know the weight of it. I'll have to put the weight uh, down below for you. I can't remember the weight. It's very, very lightweight cool feature another cool feature is it in the back here it has a little whistle so so whistle is pretty loud and um, you know for an emergency stuff like that you could use it uh, you know for whatever you know up here you'll see you have two little holes you have just a round hole and you have kind of a hex head um, hole here this round hole really serves no purpose other than just um, for weight savings you do it adds a little extra weight savings for you this hole here obviously it's a hex head so it can be used of, you know, if you need a hex head for anything. But if you notice on the sheath, on the sheath here, you have several different things. You have, your first thing is a ferro rod right here. So that hex head on your knife, it's, this ferro rod here is replaceable. So you just take that, unscrew it. So when your ferro rod, when you've used all of your ferro rod, you can unscrew it, um, contact the company, and buy you another uh, ferro rod to put in here. Mine's a little oxidized. Like I said, I've been wearing this as a neck knife here lately, and I've been wearing it a lot in my kayak. So it's gotten a lot of water on it. So my ferro rod is kind of oxidized, but the ferro rod does, you know, throw some decent sparks. So you do get good sparks off of it. And um, so also talking about the sheath, you have a nice little clip on the back here. This clip attaches just about to anything. I actually broke one of these clips because it got attached to my pants. And inside of the clip, you can't really, probably not gonna be able to see, there's a little, uh, little, another little, like, I don't know, lip there. And that really catches on to a, um, your pants, your belt, whatever. And I actually broke this and I got to get me another one. So anyway, so it will hold on to stuff, attach to stuff. Another cool thing about the sheath, you can see right here, you have a little ceramic um, um, sharpener here. So you can sharpen your blade, keep your blade, um, you know, nice and sharp or any other little knives. Um, you got a little knife sharpener there. Kydex sheath, haven't had any issues with this Kydex sheath. It holds everything in there really nice and sturdy. 
nice little couple little holes. Again, you can attach yourself a lanyard or or whatever you know to it. I put some paracord on it with a little um, barrel stopper here, and just use this again as a neck knife here lately. But I have attached this to my gear, my pants, uh, stuff like that, and it you know works uh, very well. But so far, like I said, I've been really impressed with this little knife, and um, for the money, you can't. I mean, it's just a nice, cool little knife. I mean, it's not going to be obviously a, a survival knife or anything like that. I've used it a lot for around the camp, just for camp chores, kitchen chores. It does great for kitchen stuff. What I would like to do with it, I think it'd be a nice little small game skinning knife. I think it'd be perfect for small game, fish, squirrels, rabbits, stuff like that. And maybe even some, a little bit of larger game. I think you can get a good purchase, you know, up here on the blade and get under there and do some skinning, uh, stuff like that. But again, it's not going to do, you know, a lot of heavy, heavy duty tasks because that's not what it's designed to do. But it's basically designed as a little backpackers type knife. So where backpackers can take a, you know, have a little extra blade with them, you know, when they're backpacking and stuff like that. But anyway, I have really liked this knife and, you know, Mike and his company, Outdoor Element, um, great people there. You know, I'm not getting paid for this at all. You know, there's no affiliate links uh, down below. So I'll, I'll leave the link to the website down below, but it's not an affiliate link unless you get it from Amazon. I think it's on Amazon. I'm not sure if you click my Amazon link, then obviously affiliate, but other than that, no links. But um, so yeah, folks, uh, check them out. Again, Outdoor Element, a uh, small business. So thanks for watching, folks. Get outside, get outdoors. Always make sure you have necessary skills to survive, and I will see you on another video really soon. Thanks again.